Hello and welcome to Matt's ICT Lab. Now today we'll be learning how to open a table or a CSV file in a word processor, make some change, changes to the table, and copy and paste it into another document. Okay, so this is the document I'll be copying and pasting into. I'll be using this space here for the table. So we'll just leave that down there just now. And we'll have a look at the table we'll be, look, we'll be working with today. So, this CSV file here is the one we'll be using. So I'm going to open it up and just have a look at what we're dealing with. Shouldn't take long. And here we go. Just open that up as well. So this is the table. We'll open it in a word processor. We'll have a look at a uh, what we're what we've got, and then we'll uh, we'll start working with it then. So I'm going to close that just now. Now the first step, I'm going to open my word processor. Okay, I don't need to open Excel except just to look at the table. So got a word processor here, and I'm going to open the CSV file from the word processor. So just open it as if you open a normal document. Sometimes this will be set to all word documents because it's it's a word it's a it's word we're dealing with. And if that's the case, you won't see the CSV file in your in your your finder there. So I'm going to change this to all files, and there we go, open. Now it's opened here as a collection of text and commas or comma separated values, if you like. So I'm just going to highlight all this. I'm going to insert, choose the table option, and we convert this text to a table. Now I'll come up suggesting number of columns 6 and the number of rows 10. Okay, now we can see there's 10 rows or lines of text here, and there are 6 values separated by commas, which will give us our, col our columns. So columns, remember, vertically, rows horizontally. So that should be fine. And there we go. We've got our table in word processor. So I'm going to just copy and paste this into another document. This one here. And now obviously it's a bit all over the place. It's split between two pages straight away, which we know is a problem. But I'm just going to try and sort this out. I'm just going to reshuffle this so that we can see all the text. Nothing's on over two lines. So there we go. We've got our document. We've got our table in Microsoft Word, and that's how you do it. Now, usually when you do this, you'll be asked to delete some rows, make some changes to the table, which you can see in my other video, uh, working with tables. Uh, but I'll just do a couple here. So I'm going to delete the row, uh, the column grade, and I'm going to delete the column office. So to do that, click in the, in the column anywhere, right click, delete cells, and I'm deleting the entire column. Grade is gone. In office, I said we'd delete that as well. Click in there, right click, delete cells, delete the entire column, and it's gone. And we can just move this about a bit to where we want it to be. Oh, not up there. We want it at the bottom. There we go. Okay, and that is how you insert a table from a CSV file into a word processor and then copy and paste it into the document that you're, you want the table to be in. Okay, it's a useful exam skill. It does come up in a lot of exams, so it'll be worth giving it a wee practice before your final exam dates. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. Any other little tips or, or things you'd like me to go over again, please leave a comment in the comments section. Thank you.